Over the years, I've tried to get a better understanding of what people who have been deemed far-rightists believe. Over the past few months, it's... I, I seem to have reached the edge of this, you know? I wondered when I'd finally reach that edge. And where does it start to bleed into uh, what would be considered mainstream thought? And getting to learn this has taken quite a personal toll on me. I've been experiencing internalized homophobia like never before. I've been judging and crafting myself based on standards that would probably rather people like me didn't exist at all. I'm trying to detox from a lot of this, but it's been difficult. I mean, how can you detox when you're still looking up things <laughs> that uh, push those kinds of views, right? One of the things I have to keep reminding myself is that most of the Abrahamic religious people view sex outside marriage and sex outside the notion of procreation as sinful, the same as ingesting intoxicating substances, and that it's not my orientation itself that they have a problem with or that they have a negative view of. It would be if I had sex, which would be outside marriage, outside of procreation. I mean, again, as I've said before, that doesn't make it that much better because I mean, it would mean that I can't show affection for someone that I love. That's kind of weird. But it's not like so many people who are Abrahamic religious, you know, just hate me. If, if they knew that I was gay, oh, they hate me. No, it's not necessarily like that. So I've learned that at the same time, you know, so I have to remember that. But as I've said before, I don't like what LGBT activism has become. The kind of awful activism that I would sometimes see in the 1990s that I thought was just awful and counterproductive has become rather mainstream today, and some of it has made its way into elementary schools. I may not be going the route of trying to dismantle heteronormativity, that would be extremely stupid and futile, but I'm not going to accept a label that has been dished out by more and more people, a growing number of people, that... My simply being gay makes me a groomer. I'm just not going to accept that kind of messaging. I know that it's a small number of people that are saying this, but that number of people is growing. There's this notion that unless I'm absolutely anti-woke in everything that I say and every, everything that I talk about, and unless I speak against this stuff being, being taught in schools and all this stuff, unless I'm constantly speaking against that, then I must be for it. Yeah, that's frustrating. So no, I'm not going to accept that kind of messaging. So again, I'm not going to try to dismantle heteronormativity or cis-heteronormativity or any of that. That would be stupid. You know, being gay isn't statistically normal, but it isn't something bad either. Yes, cis-heteronormativity is here to stay, as, as well as a number of other systems, but we can reduce their negative effects, as we've been doing for a long time. Eventually, these systems won't have any significant power, and by then, we might actually have something solid to replace them. Just saying.